God did that. Nehemiah, how were you so successful at rebuilding these walls? Well, I just got to say, uh, thank you for the interview, Jim, but I just got to say, God did that. Nehemiah, how'd you finish in 52 days? I, I'm not really sure. God did that. Nehemiah, what about this offering that was taken to get temple worship established again? Well, all I got to say is God did that. And you know what the result was of God doing that? The result was God was glorified in the eyes of all these surrounding nations who were watching and hoping for the defeat of Nehemiah. Instead, they see God prosper Israel. God's name was lifted high because God did the work at the end of the day. That's a beautiful theme that we even see in our own lives. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16 says, Let your light shine so that unbelievers may see your good works and give glory to God the Father. That is what we want to see in our own lives, that we live out our faith in such a way that unbelievers look and they give glory to God. We want our church to be such that we do things in such a way that when people look at this church, all they can say is, God did that. I want you to say that with me. Ready? God did that. God did it. With this building project, we want to see walls built. We want to see the building expand. But when God blesses us beyond the walls, we want to stand back and say, God did that. When they built this building years ago, 20-some years ago, they thought that this building would be sufficient for the foreseeable future. And the reason why it's not is because, hello, God did that. And even in our own personal giving to give, to sacrifice, to be generous in such a way that you can stand back and see how God led you to give and you can say in retrospect, God did that. And so what is the ask today? What are we asking for today? Well, we want to have an environment of generous giving in this church. We believe that the Bible teaches a principle called the tithe. You've probably heard that word before. If you're not familiar with that word, tithe simply means 10%. What that means is that God is so generous with us, and God gives us all things, and God owns everything that we have. And throughout the Scriptures, God says to acknowledge my ownership of all things. Give back 10% of your net income. Give back 10% of what you take home as a way to say, Lord, thank you for your blessings. You own everything. I don't own everything. I'm just a steward of, of what I have. That's the principle of the tithe. We also believe here and throughout the Scripture, it's assumed and implied that the tithe, the first 10% goes to the local church. In the Old Testament, the first 10% went to support the temple, and then there, were, there was other giving beyond that. And it's a great way to take your hands off giving. The church is where God has placed his authority for this time. This is where God is moving. There's lots of other things going on that are good things. This is where God has placed his authority. This is where you can literally say, I'm giving to the Lord when you give to the local church. And what's our motivation for giving? The motivation is God's kindness to us. And we are so thankful for such a generous church. God has been so gracious to us through your generous giving. And I just want to say thank you. And I also want to say, I believe dollar for dollar, this is a great place to give. Because we are serious about making more and better disciples. There's a lot of places to give. I listened to the radio recently. There, all the radio stations seem to be doing fundraisers right now. And that's not a bad thing. If you support Christian radio, that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying dollar for dollar, this is an excellent investment into the Great Commission. One of the donors that stepped up already to pledge to give to this campaign wrote me this in his pledge email to me. He said this, We believe that there are only two things present on earth today that will last for all of eternity, the Word of God and souls. This project prioritizes both. We are privileged and excited to be able to participate. We've been praying specifically about this project. We've been praying for current church members, and we've been praying for church members that the Lord will add in the future. Who has it better than us, he says. What a great testimony as he generously pledges to give towards this campaign. So what are we asking today? Well, first, before we ask, I want to say that God's already been generous to us. 
that we followed the pattern of the Old Testament here in Nehemiah chapter 7 of the leaders giving first, 1 Chronicles chapter 29, the leaders giving first. And I want to tell you this morning that there have been leaders in this church, the leadership of this church has stepped up. There have been about 50 folks, 50 giving units that have stepped up, people that lead in different capacities that have already stepped up and have already given generously. And so I come to you this morning with pledges already in hand, folks that have already pledged to give to this campaign. And I've got a number for you of uh, pledges, a total number of people that have stepped forth already to pledge. You ready for this number? Okay, we won't do that then. No, I'm just, I need like a drum roll or, no, there's no, that's okay, we don't have to do that. All right, this is, this is amazing. God, God is so good. Already, as of this morning, and it literally was, as of this morning, we updated the numbers. We have seen pledged from the leaders of this church $2,500,018 and $930. You know what I say to that? God did that. Totally exceeded my expectations, quite honestly. So thankful for the show of support already from the leaders of the church. Now, you look at that number, and maybe you think to yourself, yeah, I bet you there was like one check for a million that makes up most of that. No, nope, that's not what it is. There, there, there's not that check in that total. That's 50 contributors, 50 generous gifts. And I, I'm, I'm thankful. That, that's, that's an amazing show of support from the leaders of this church. Now, I, I also mentioned before, we've talked about it a lot, we had already saved and been saving, been careful with our budgeting, saved $3 million in savings to put forward as a down payment for this building project, bringing our total to over $5,500,000 is where we're sitting right now today. God did that. And so we would love to ask for your participation. And we're asking for everybody's participation. It's an opportunity for you to participate in this process. And we do want widespread participation from everybody, from as many people as possible. Friends, did you know that our youth group, our teens, are participating in this? Denny and Chris Hansen. Uh, hi, guys. Denny and Chris Hansen went to our teenagers, and they said... We want you to participate in this project as well. Let's raise money. You can, you can think of it like this. You're raising money for a door, for one door in the building. What did you put that at, Denny? Uh, 800 bucks. 800 bucks. I, I heard one of the teenagers go, 800 bucks. Wow, that's an expensive door. <laughs> like, yeah, that might even be low. I'm not sure. Uh, commercial doors are expensive. $800 for a door. And the teens have been participating in raising money, taking offerings for that door. It's been, it's been a joy. I've seen it with my own son, being able to bring that money for this part of the project. We want everybody to con contribute something. We have about 400 giving units in this church. You say, man, that sounds low. There's like 1,200 people that come to church here. No, that, that's actually not low. Those numbers are very good, 400 giving units. A, un a unit works like this. My family has five people, but we're one giving unit. So some of you are single, some of you are just a couple. In the 11 o'clock service, there's a family that sits over here. There's like 14 of them in that family. They have 12 kids. So that's 14 people in one giving unit. We have 400 giving units. If you think of it like this, if just 100 giving units, 100 more giving units were to say we could commit to $10,000 over the next five years, that would be another million towards this goal. So you can look at the card. I've got a copy of the card right here. You can look at the card. There's different amounts that are listed here, but your number is your number between you and the Lord. We want everybody to participate. Your number is your number between you and the Lord. Pray about it. And I know you've already been praying. Many of you have been praying about this already. If you want some time to think about it, our celebration Sunday is not until May 19th. That's a few weeks from now. May 19th is celebration Sunday. And so over the next few weeks, we would love to see the pledge cards come in. There's a QR code there to scan. That takes you to a digital pledge card if you'd rather do it like that. Just take a moment. Pray over it. Think about it. See what God would place in your heart so that we could come to the end of this project and say, God did that.